Hi guys, welcome to Sons of Cain. In this week's video, we're going to be looking at the figure of Atra. Guys, one of my go-to moves is the figure of eight. I've used this so many times, uh, I can't even recall. One time, first time I actually used it, I had to clear 12 people out of a lobby in a, um, in a community hall who were causing trouble. I used the figure of eight and it cleared them and heard them through the door. A couple of times I've, I've actually been told these people were going to mug me as they're walking towards me. Figure of eight. I, I can't stress this, I practice this a lot. When I'm walking, there's nobody about, I will practice. I'm being careful here because there are strip lights above us and I'm not saying we've broken any, but we might have broken a few. But one of my favorite techniques, I've got three go-to moves and that is number one for me. Again, okay, in the chair, same again, figure eight. And we always challenge people when they say, he's in a wheelchair, he's got a stick, go near him. Okay, and as you can see, he's actually building up his core while he's doing this as well. Okay, again, depends on ability and what you can do. When Kev's not using his chair and is using two canes, <laughs> but again, three points of contact on the floor and he can get a good figure of eight going in. As you can see, Kev's back in his chair. What we're doing is just a little targeting drill. Now, I will stress you need to be careful on these. I'm not saying there's an outtake, but there might be an outtake. Okay, so again, Kev's figure of 18. It's great, figure of eight, in the chair. So what we're doing is actually giving something a bit of resistance in. Again, go nice and slow, just to get the target. And then if you want, start moving around. Move the target. Okay, okay, we'll stop there. Okay, so again, it's different drill, okay? Target's there, you're hitting something fairly small in an honesty, then you start moving, okay? So, something else to think about. But if you do it, be very, very careful. Make sure you're confident in your partner and you're confident in yourself when you're doing this. And I'd also recommend wearing some sort of protective gloves or some shielding to protect your hands. The same drill, but standing. And as you can see, I've got quite a distance away. But again, it's a good drill just to practice in focusing your strikes and hitting a small target. So I've got that full extension. Okay, nice and slow. Again, I recommend using a longer stick. Okay, you'll notice on the first couple of strikes he missed. If he missed, keep going. Again, it's something we've seen a lot of people miss and they will stop. If you're in an altercation, if you stop in the middle of a technique because it didn't quite work, you'll get yourself in a, more, in a complete state. So keep going, keep going. If you miss the second one or the third one, the fifth, the seventh, the eighth might hit. You only need one hit. So always practice, keep going, adjust, uh, adjust to your opponent. Okay guys, we were just doing a drill um, which I thought would be a really good idea and on the third strike my thumb is now bleeding and with the edge of the cane actually took my thumbnail off I did a merry little jig <laughs> and said a few choice words so what we're saying is even when we're practicing at slow speed accidents can happen and it doesn't take a lot to cause a little bit of damage that's really infuriating Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. We hope you found that uh, information useful. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the links on the videos. If you want to see any more of our videos, they'll be linked with the two boxes below or have a look in the description. Don't forget, push the bell icon. Thanks for watching.